If you're weighing your options to decide whether it makes more sense to rent or buy a home today, here's one key data point that could help you make feel more confident about making your decision. Every three years, the Federal Reserve Board releases a survey of consumer finances. That report covers the difference in net worth for both homeowners and renters. Spoiler alert, the gap between the two is significant. The average homeowner's net worth is almost 40 times greater than that of a renter. Uh, from this graph, here's the data to prove that. The big reason homeowner's net worth is so high? In the previous version of that report, the net worth of the average homeowner was roughly $255,000 and that of the average renter was about 6,300. But in this release that just came out this year, the gap widened as homeowner net worth climbed dramatically. As the Survey of Consumer Finances report says, the 2019-22 growth in the median net worth was the largest three-year increase over the history of the modern SCF, more than double the next largest one on record. One of the biggest reasons homeowner net worth has skyrocketed is home equity. Over the last few years, um, known as the unicorn years of housing, home prices went through the roof. That's because there just weren't enough homes for sale. And that was a big influx of buyers rushing out to buy them and take advantage of the record low mortgage rates. That imbalance of supply and demand pushed uh, prices higher and higher. And as a result, most homeowners who had a, uh, who had a home during that time saw equity grow a lot. If you're still in the middle of making your decision on whether to rent or buy, you may wonder if you missed the boat on the big uh, net worth boost. Here's what you need to realize. A uh, recent article in The Ascent explains, whether your net worth increased in recent years or not, there are steps you can take to boost that number in the coming years. Buying a home can be a great way to grow your net worth, and since home values have a tendency to rise over time, historically, home prices do climb over time. Even now that mortgage rates are closer to 7 and 8%, prices are still rising in many areas of the country, because supply is still low compared to the demand. That's why experts forecast in the next few years, um, they call for ongoing appreciation, just at a pace that's more typical for the housing market. While it likely won't be um, you know, the record ramp up that happened over the last few years, people who buy now should continue to grow their equity in the years ahead. That means if you're ready and able to buy a home today, you'll be making an investment that's gonna help build your net worth in the long run. Jessica Lance, the uh, Deputy Chief Economist uh, at the NAR, says when deciding to rent versus buy, one must calculate the total cost of home ownership, maintenance, utilities, commuting, etc., cetera, uh, and the total financial benefit based on the new Fed data. The medium net worth of homeowners was $396,000 versus renters at $10,400. There is no question about the wealth gains that home ownership provides. The bottom line is, if you're on the fence about whether or not uh, to rent or to buy a home, remember that home ownership can give you the boost in that net worth uh, over time. If you want to learn more about this and, and the other benefits to owning a home, let's connect.